Bob Barker saying good night. Hey, everybody! show, but Barbara, you want to tell him what's going to happen? I'm going to beat you at the bullseye thing. You're oh, going to beat him at the bullseye thing because the charity that you selected is? It's for the Vanderbilt Organ Transplant Center. It's the, and this is a very, very important cause. The Vanderbilt Organ Transplantation Center, which not only brings more awareness, but helps people live. Harold, your, your charity? Mississippi Flood Victims of 1993. <laughs> Couldn't feel better about giving away $20,000 to either charity. Let's start by guaranteeing that somebody's playing for $5,000. Bam! In that bank. Now, you build your bank by giving me only number one answers. This question is worth $1,000. Name something that makes news when a woman does it at an old age. Barbara. When she... I, I forgot it. Well, at least you're honest. Something that, hap that makes news when a woman does it at an old age. Gets married. Is getting married? Let's see if Louise is up there. Let's see. Get married. I know this one. It has to be have a baby. What's the bullseye? Have a baby. We missed that. Let's go right now with another bank building question. Come on up, Louise. Let's go, Jimmy. Listen to the wording because this question is worth $2,000 towards your charity's bank. Name a kind of wood used to make furniture. You got control, Jimmy? Oak. Oak, is it the bullseye? Bullseye! $7,000 in their bank. Come on up here, Earlene. Let's go, Brenda. We thank you for playing with the Statlers. Three beautiful blondes standing at the podium. <laughs> Two and a half. The question is worth $3,000. Name something that pregnant mothers should restrict their intake of. Erling. Coffee. Is coffee the bullseye? <laughs> you can add 3000 Brenda. Name something that pregnant mothers should restrict their intake of. Smoking. Is smoking number one. What is it? Drinking. Drinking. Say, say liquor. What was the bullseye? It was alcohol. Here we go. We missed it. It's time. Come on, Papa. Here's my idol right here. Hello, Bob. Hello, or my idol, too. Your idol, too. Yeah. He's the man that I... and I are old buddies. That's exactly right. He's old and I'm the buddy. <laughs> For $4,000, name something you often see in the sky over... An amusement park. You might be buddies, Don, but Irby's got, got the control. Balloon. Let me see a balloon. 
For four thousand dollars, hundred people, something you often see over the sky at an amusement park. A sky ride. A sky ride for the bullseye. <laughs> what would it be for four thousand dollars? Fireworks. Not said. Here we go. Come on up here, Mom. Paul. Mary. Five thousand dollars will round out one family's bank. This is our final bullseye question. We ask a hundred people, tell me an occasion when only women are invited and no men are allowed. Phil? Baby shower. He says a baby shower for the bullseye. Right on target. The Statlers build twelve thousand dollars into their bank. The Mandrells have five thousand dollars. Doesn't matter how big the bank is. You have Presenting Buzzer's Primetime TV Dinner. Deliciously fresh. Snappy. Crisp. Irresistibly fun. And oh, so satisfying. Buzzer's Primetime TV Dinner. Weeknight starting at 8. Dig in on Buzzer. Ask 100 people this question. Try to find the most popular answer. Top five are on that board. Tell me a woman in a man's life who his wife probably doesn't like very much. Harold? Secretary. Is secretary up there? Number one answer. Think of a steal over there. We got control. You got a bank of $12,000. Yeah, Good right. job, Harold. $12,000 for those Mississippi flood victims. A woman in a man's life his wife probably doesn't like very much. His last girlfriend. His last girlfriend. Yeah, well, <laughs> Did that make the survey? Bam! <laughs> we'll probably get mail about this, but I'll say his mother. You know, it could, it's a great answer. Show me mom. Don? What do you say? I would say his mistress. His oh. mistress? <laughs> Don, this is a country town. Let me see a mistress. <laughs> well, Don, you're only guessing what 100 people would have said there, right? That's right. Trying to think like the public. <laughs> Phil, what do you think? A woman in a man's life who his wife probably doesn't like very much. Possibly his sister. Maybe a sister for a clean sweep. One strike. Come on, Harold. All right. All right. <laughs> How about his ex-wife? His ex-wife. For a clean sweep. Bang! Takes the first with 95. Come on, Lou. Anybody for Jimmy? Yeah. Well, who's for Lou? Yeah. The top four answers are on the board. We ask 100 people the double-valued question. Good one. Tell me something Tennessee is famous for. Louise. Country music. Country music. Come here. Come here, Earlene. Something Tennessee is famous for. Whiskey. <laughs> you know, people have been talking about how well you've been playing. Show me whiskey. <laughs> Irving, let me tell you something. How did you father the most beautiful family in the world? They look like their mother and somebody else I never met. <laughs> 
<laughs> Something Tennessee is fa He should get his own show. <laughs> Something Tennessee is famous for. Fast women. Fast. <laughs> for a week and they move pretty fast. I can't find them. Fast, <laughs> fast women. There's one for the Statlers. Come on, Mom. Tourists. Tourists maybe made the survey. A lot of great stuff here in Tennessee. Now, it's a good answer. A lot of tourists are here. Two strikes, but that bank is up for grabs. The point value's doubled. That's why the team captain, Barbara, is gonna listen to the wording and give me one of those answers. Listen to this. Play our show. Listen to, let your mind oh, go right, blank. That's right, the Statler Brothers TV show. That's what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> let your yeah. mind go blank. Okay, blank. Tell me something 100 better. average Americans would yeah. say Tennessee, Tennessee yeah. is like, famous for. Tennessee. Think like early. Tennessee. Three seconds. <laughs> Tennessee is famous for its walking <laughs> horses. Tennessee walking horses. Is it Tennessee, Tennessee walking horses? Yeah. That's what you get. Louise, think. A hundred average Americans, what would they say, number four, that Tennessee's famous for? Their heels. I know what I think, but I don't know what's up there. Is it hills to stay alive? One answer, Tennessee, famous for, that's three strikes. Anything, Phil? Tell uh, him. Salt cured ham. Salt cured ham? Graceland. Graceland? Elvis. 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 That's what I would have said, and I never know what's up there. But maybe he's not. If he is, you've stolen the bank. Show me a hunk of hunk of burn the king. <laughs> you did it again, Al. You got the big bank. All right, we have. It's 271 to zero. Let's go, girls. It's time to come alive. Early. Let's go. The point value's tripled. And right now, you can win this game, Statlers, and play for $12,000 for the Mississippi flood victims. This is your shot to stay alive to play for the Vanderbilt Organ Transplantation Center. Value tripled, top five answers. Specifically, what keeps you warm on a cold night? Brenda. Not in time. Erlene. <laughs> me. <laughs> me? Oh, hello. Good answer. Uh, are you saying, uh, uh, you're saying, um, 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 uh, a um, spouse, uh, um, maybe? Maybe. We will be someday. <laughs> Let me see. A spouse. There it is. Speaking of steel, we're going to go now. Come on. What makes you, keeps you warm on a cold night? Electric blanket. Electric blanket. Is it better than another person? Number one. Come on, man. Central heating. Central heating. Boy, Kentucky and Tennessee's moving on now. Central heat. One strike. You can win with a steal. What keeps you warm specifically on a cold night? A fireplace. Fireplace. There we go. Come on. What do you say? You can do it, Louise. Um, it sounds Three dumb, seconds. but a coat. A coat. She says a coat. Think of one answer that will win this game. What? Think about Who it. better to stop him? Come over here, Erlene. Think Let me touch your it. hand. Think. You can do it. What keeps you warm on a cold night specifically? Um, I say... Uh, you Three say, seconds. Uh, uh, um, a bed. <laughs> you just stay down there as I walk over here and say, show me a bed. I'll just walk back over <laughs> Presumptuous on my part. We're gonna go. Irby, it seems like your women all know how to stay warm on a cold night. What do you know about it? I'd say a pet, like a dog. Let me see a dog. This game is over. If you give me one answer, what is it, Phil? Keeps you warm on a cold night. Hot water bottle. Hot water bottle. Oh, uh, but footy pajamas. <laughs> That's a pretty picture. I wouldn't want to see Harold in footy pajamas. A yeah. stiff drink. Stiff drink, footy pajamas, pillow, uh, a water bottle. Pajamas. Pajamas. Harold, with them or on your own? They're making it rough on me. I'm going to say a stove. He says a stove. A stove meaning, explain that definition. It's meaning right? it'll keep you warm on You're a cold night. You're talking about night. a hot, a pot belly stove. It's right. It don't have to be pot belly. Just it's a, a stove in a nice the slim stove, even. I'm trying to help you. I, I, okay. I'll take. If it's not there, we're going with another face-off stove. 
You're in the game. You were one if you said number four. Flannel gown, which probably would have been the jammies almost. Let's go right now with another face. Would it have been there, Judge? Here we go. This point value is triple. Listen carefully. Either team can win now, specifically. What tastes better with butter on it? Irving, toast. Let me see toast. What is fingers steel? What tastes better with butter on it? Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Show it to me. Better? Oh, you know this. Better with butter on it. You're in Tennessee. Come on. Three seconds. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. You stole this game and you're playing for your great charity. Tastes oh, better with I butter on it. Big potatoes, so um, you got um three vegetables. Vegetables? Uh, Who better to bring this home than early? Popcorn. Is it for the game? Could it be? It's a word game new to Buzzer that everyone will be talking about. Prince Charles. Prince Charles is right. Yeah! We're going to say diamond. You're right. Yeah. Now you can talk about, talk about, coming May 30th, right here on Buzzer. 15 seconds on that clock, please. Good luck. We ask 100 people these five questions. On the first one specifically, tell me something that would make a person scream. Uh, roller coaster. On a scale of 1 to 10, how chauvinistic are most men? Five. A specific food to put barbecue sauce on. This. Something that noisy neighbors do too loudly. Party. An occupation where people become famous. Entertainment. She said entertainment. She said entertainment. What? A more specific answer on entertainment. There's many fields of entertainment. What, what area of entertainment would you become famous? Actors or actresses? Acting. Turn around right here. Let's see how you did. Something that would make a person scream, you said? Roller coaster survey said four. How did you do on a scale of one to ten? How chauvinistic are most men? You said five. Survey said 17. Barbecue sauce on this food. You like ribs? Survey like bam! Noisy neighbors do 2,000. You like party survey said 21. You could become famous in this occupation as an actor. Survey said uh, Back with your teammates. Here comes Barbara Mandra. Watch your step. 63 away. She did it. You look straight ahead, dog. 20 seconds on the clock. Revealing her answers. If you hear this sound, you've duplicated her answer. I'll say try again. Specifically, tell me something that would make a person scream. Uh, fear. What? Fear. On a scale of 1 to 10, how chauvinistic are most men? 8. A food that people put barbecue sauce on specifically. Try again. Chicken. Something the noisy neighbors do too loud. Play music. An occupation where people become famous. Uh, Turn around! At the buzzer! Woo! At the buzzer! Would make a person scream, you said? Just plain fear, survey said. Little, too vague. You got four left. Scale of one to ten, you said most men are this chauvinistic. An eight, the survey said. Bingo, 27. 36 away. A food people put barbecue sauce on. How'd you do with chicken? Our survey said, yes, 35, you are one away. Noisy neighbors do too loudly, you said. Play music, did one person say it for $5,000? What? 
Did the survey say? Sally has professional beauty supplies for nail skin and all hair types at very attractive prices. Sally Beauty Supply for tricks of the trade. Back to Ray. Thank you, Gene Wood. From Operaland, USA, the family feud would like to thank the Mandrells, the Stadlers, Brenda Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Travel to Nashville.